How would you like to have your mind blown? I will show you a Sudoku strategy that when you see it, it's going to make your jaw drop all the way to the floor. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Where can a two go here in block five? You have these twos right here. I mean, there's only one place left for two in block five. And with these twos, you can solve for two here in block five. Ooh, greetings, friend. Bondi sent me this puzzle, and the logic behind it completely blew my mind. It is so good. And now I'm going to share it with you. Thank you, Bondi, for this amazing puzzle. I think it truly is one of the best of 2024 that I've solved, and I've solved hundreds of classics. Now, Bondi makes it easy for you to get to that jaw dropping logic by giving you some solves early on. What can you solve next up here in block two? You might notice you have a one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, which you need a three and a seven. Well, here's your seven. Pull it up from block eight. So there's seven and there's a three. And then with these two threes, you can solve for a three right here in block five. And all you're missing is a four, five, and a nine. You can see with this five, that's gotta be your five with this nine. Here's your nine and here is your four. You come down here, you just have three full houses in columns four, five, and six. I don't see a four in column four. And then you're looking for an eight and a nine. I'll take this eight and put it in column five. And then the nine goes right there. Next easy solve to make is right across row five here. You have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All you need is an eight and a nine. That eight right there means this has to be your eight and that has to be your nine. And we're not done. We can actually solve all the cells here in block four. Okay, you got a one, two, three, five, eight, and nine. What you need is a four, a six, a one, two, three, five, eight. You need a four, six, seven, and a nine. Well, these two sixes means the only place for six is right there. And then with these nines, you can put the nine right there. And now all you need is the four and the seven. And with this four, four goes there, seven goes right there. And we're not done. You just need a five and seven to finish row four. There's your seven. So seven here, five there. We do have to put a one, three naked pair here in block six. That is okay. Look at all this project. It's a progress that you have made. We're going to do some solves of the nines here with these two nines and these two nines. You know you can solve for a nine in block three. Whenever you have four of a digit, look it into a block. Same thing down here in block seven with these two nines and these two nines. Solve this cell for a nine. And now we're going to do a little bit of Snyder notation. We want to see some more restrictions. Ones in block seven with these ones. I'll mark right there, so now notation, anytime in a three by three block, two possibilities for a can, you mark it. In case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other right away. Gives you a good idea of where the puzzle restrictions are. And then with the fives, with these two fives and this five, we got Snyder fives in block seven. Go over to block three with these two fives and this five, Snyder fives. The sixes in block three are limited to two spots. And then also in block seven with these sixes and these will become important a little bit later on the sevens this seven and this seven you got snyder seven right there even though they're not in the same row and column there's only two you're going to mark it and then in block three the seven and these sevens snyder sevens right here and then in block seven with these two sevens and this seven, nine or sevens right here. With the eights, look in block nine, you got this eight and this eight. Only two possibilities for an eight. And we're getting to the spot where we're going to need to look for and find that amazing, jaw dropping, mind blowing logic. But first, I want to know what you did. What did you do at this point in the puzzle? Let me know in the comments. I want to grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. It starts with your comments, share with the other viewers. I learn so much from you and I respond to each and every one. So you can either look for single can strategies or you can start filling in buy value cells. I recommend you start doing the buy value cells. 
we have at least five digits here in row two. That's where I started. So you go for one, three, seven, eight, because you already have a two, four, five, six, nine. And so this is could be a one, three, seven, or an eight. You already have a three and a seven in this column. So that's going to be a one or an eight, BBC, looking good. And then one, three, seven right here, and a three and an eight. So I got two buy value cells in. All right, where would the other buy value cells be? Well, if you look in this cell right here, you kind of look at where you see the most restrictions, right? So you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, you need a one, two, three, or four. You got a two and a four here. That can only be a one or a three. Now, if you come down here into block seven, you can see here five digits, one, five, six, eight, nine, three and a seven means this can only be a two or a four. This digit, this cell right here, you have one, three, seven, nine, and a two, four, five. That's going to be a six or an eight. Down here, you got one, two, four, seven, nine, and a three and a six. So that's going to be a five or an eight. Okay, what else can we do? Right here, you got one, two, seven, nine with a five, six, and eight. That's going to give you just a three and a four. And I believe that is all the BVCs you have this time. There's still not much going on here. That's why you need this jaw-dropping, mind-blowing logic. One thing you can find, though, if you look right here, notice that this cell is a 1-8. Five value cell, BVC. And it sees this cell right here, a 1-3. So it shares one digit in common. And then the other digit, common shares with this cell right here, 3-8. So what you have here is a 1-8, 1-3, 3-eight. All three paired possibilities of the digits one, three, and eight. If this is a one, this cell has to be a three. If this is an eight, this cell has to be a three. So no matter what the orange cell is, one of these blue cells has to contain a three. So any cell that sees both of them, you can remove a three. So all these cells cannot contain a three. And this cell cannot contain a three. This is a Sudoku XY wing. Okay, it's cool. Hopefully you saw this. The only thing it does at this point is removes a three from that cell and from these cells if you mark them. It does not crack the puzzle. It does not do and show you the mind-blowing logic. But if you saw that, you know, you should make the elimination there. You could start working on alternate inference chains, and you might be able to find a solution that way that kind of cracks this puzzle. That is not the intended logic. The intended logic requires you to do a little more searching here in block one and down here in block seven. So let's go in block one. We have a one, five, six, eight, nine. So we need a two, three, four, seven. This would be a two, three, four. And this is would be a two, four, and a seven. Okay, not a big deal here. What could this be? Two, three, four, and a seven. All right. And then to fill out the rest of block one, you look at this cell, and this could be a two, four, or an eight. And now you're like, Timberlake, what's the big deal? We just filled out a bunch of digits. Well, this is what Bondi intended. And it's great. Sometimes you go, you just ask yourself a question. It, you know, how are these digits restricted or how are they related? The question you need to ask yourself is, column one, where can the two and the four go? Like, where do they have to be? Where are they restricted? Well, one of them has to be right here, right? A two or four has to be in that cell. And so you ask, could the other one be right here? If this is a two, could that be a four? If that's the case, this would be a two, four naked pair. And you would remove the two and a four from these two cells. What would happen? Well, hopefully you see pretty quick that then the two and the four could only be in this cell. Both of them can only be in this cell. These, digit, these other cells in block one would not contain a two or a four. That can't happen. That would break the puzzle. So we know that the two and the four cannot both be in these two cells. All right. And pretty easily, you should see that the two and the four cannot be in these two cells in column one because you took them away. Or actually, you took it away from down here. Nothing to put in the green cell, right? So what that tells you and what Bonnie wants you to see is that one of the two and the four has to be here. The other one has to be in one of these orange cells. Has to be. Uh, hopefully you saw it. This is just beautiful because this has amazing implications. What's the other implication of that? 
One of the two and the four is there. One has to be right there. You can make some eliminations. What you know is the other one of the two and the four in this block can only be in this cell, right? Because these cells cannot contain two or four. And so this has to be a two or four here. You can remove the eight. Okay, this logic works very similar to a pseudocope, uh, but Bonnie wanted you to find this, and I just thought that was amazing. This, well, we're not done. I have to tell you, this in itself only sets you up for a few more solves to the next strategy. Okay, do not think, oh, once you solve this, you're good, and it singles to the end. It's not the case, and that's what makes this one of the best puzzles I've solved. This is just the first part of it. You can remove the eight from right there, and that creates a pointing pair of eights. Okay, I'll get back to what that does for you. Remember, one of the two and the four is there, one of the two four is right there, so this cannot contain a two or four anymore. It can't, right? Because I just proved to you, if you put it there, the four would go there, we ran out of places to put two and a four up here. So you can make that elimination, and this is really gets cool. This cell becomes actually quite important for the next step of this solve. But for now, you have a pointy pair of eights right here. So this cell here cannot be an eight anymore. You can remove that eight and you can solve this cell for a three. So we can remove the three from right here. You can solve that cell for a four. And then if you look in column nine, you have a one, two, three, four, seven, nine, you need a five, six, eight. Well, I got a six and eight right there. This is a naked single five that you can solve. And now that leaves you with a six, eight, in column nine. Awesome. So you make a, a couple more solves right there. You know, with these threes, you could put Snyder threes right there if you want. With these fives and this five, you can put Snyder fives right there. We're not done. Remember how I said how cool this was? Now that turns into a three seven. Well, I'm going to show you why. What you want to see is what kind of restrictions did we just create now here in column two because what you want to do the key to this puzzle is actually not just this wonderful cell it's this cell right here you want to figure out this is a one or an eight how can we do that well we got to make some eliminations either up here or down here that will help us out you go down column two you got a two four five nine we need a one three six seven eight well i got six and eight right there that's a one three or seven and then right here i got a one and seven this would be a three six four and eight you're like, all right, what's the big deal? Tim or late? Look at this cell. This is a one, three, seven. This is two of the three digits, three, seven, and it sees our orange cell. Look up the column. What do you got right here? That is a one, three. So it's not the same two digits, but it's two to three in the orange cell, and it sees it. So if this is a one, this cell would be a three. Hopefully you can see that. If this is a three, any cell that sees it cannot contain a three, right? If this is a seven, that has to be a three. So what you notice is that a three has to be in one of these three cells in this puzzle. So you can remove a three from any cell that sees all three. So these three cells all see these two cells right here. So you can remove a three from this cell right there. This is a Sudoku XYZ wing. So different from the XY wing, because the XY wing only has uh, two digits in the pivot. This one has three, but it does allow you to make some solves. So you remove the threes from right there, and now you have a six, eight naked pair. Six, eight naked pair acts as a pointing pair as well. And so I'm going to show you what that does. But you can learn more about XYZ wings in this tutorial. This six, eight now allows you to remove an eight from right there. And once you remove a Snyder mark, you know that you can make a solve. And so now we can solve this cell for an eight. I told you this red cell very important. In fact, we can remove all these colors and we're going to see how far this solve is going to take you. Because you have this 6, 8 here, now you have a naked pair 6, 8 across row 9. So 6, 8 can only be in those two cells. So this can no longer be an 8. That's got to be your 5. And then this cell, this place to 5, solve for 5, and this has to be a 3. The only place a 3 can go in row 9. So now you just created with that XYZ wing, a couple of nice naked pairs that allow us to do some more solves. And you're not done because of this three. That can be a one, that can be a three. How far can you take this? Well, this one means this has to be a seven. And that's got to be a one. That's got to be a three now. Okay. Nice. 
And now with this one three, this cell actually happened to be a seven. That's going to be a three. Nice. And now doing all that, we displaced the Snyder one. We know we can solve that cell for a one. And then with this three, you can remove three from right there. And you got two, four, two, four. The only place a seven can go now is right here in block one. Okay, what else can we do here? Well, you notice you got a full house across row seven. I don't see a two, so that's got to be your two now. And then what you have left is a six and an eight. Here's your six. Going to pull it on down. So that's an eight. That's going to be a six. A line you disambiguate, column nine, and row nine. That's an eight. Now that's going to be a six. You're not done yet because we displaced the Snyder six up here. So that's got to be a six right there. Looking good. I got another full house. So we know this has got to be a two. I need to disambiguate the four two here. Two, four right there. Okay, we've got two digits left. I don't see a one. I see these two ones. So the one's got to be there. Our last digit is a four. See if you can find Bonnie's intended solve path in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.